I'm going to show you a few expert options in Bobo Cloud widget sent folders. This is my smart home folder. Notice how my folder looks with all the bubbles for the different lights in my house. You can double tap on the background to show the caption bar and then the window can be moved around the screen. Also, you can tap on the corner to change the size of this window. We can also long press on the background. This is an expert way to get to the cloud configuration screen. And on this screen, here are a couple of options. First, you might have noticed the background was dimmed when I opened this folder. Also, there is now an option to control whether you want to close the folder when a bubble is opened from that folder. Until now, if we changed the bubble spacing, the margin changed together with it. You didn't have specific control on the margin. Now the two can be on tight and you can control the margin separately. And something really new, the rounded corners. You see, it's set to zero, which means we have the pointy corners, but I can increase the rounding. And if you go out, you will see the folder now gained nice rounded corners. And you also can notice how the background dimmed behind it. Now, these things can also be controlled from the caption bar controls. I press on the pencil to edit the cloud and we have this seek bar now to control the bubble spacing. Of course, we can rearrange the bubbles and also swap two bubbles as shown in a different video. Now new, we can also long press on the circle plus button, which normally takes us to the bubble configuration screen. But if we long press on it, notice at the bottom, now we can control the corner rounding with the seek bar. Only one of the corners is rounded because we are in cloud edit mode, but that's enough for us to see. So you can see, we can change the radius of the rounding there. And long pressing on this again, now we can control the margin. You don't have to do that without seeing the result. You can just go ahead and adjust the padding or margin. Pressing one more time, we are back to bubble space control. Also, notice if I open my cabinet light, smart home bubble, and I try to test it, I'm getting an error message, token expired. I had to reapply for a new token, and now a new feature in Bubble Cloud is the ability to quickly search and replace for this. I'm going to highlight the actual token part of this field. There we go. And then press this reuse HTTP command button, which gave us easy way to access already existing commands. But here is a new button at the bottom now, search and replace. You see, the highlighted text is already entered in the search field. And previously, I copied the new token on my clipboard, so I can just paste it right here. Simply pressing the Replace All button, it's going to replace it in all seven bubbles which use this token, including bubbles on my watch and in other widgets. We test it now. This time I could hear the relay click and you can see error code zero. It was successfully fired. If we go out from here and open another bubble, which uses the same or used to use the same token, you can see the new token right there. It's pretty easy to make mistakes when we replace text in multiple places. So search and replace in Bubble Cloud has built in safety and undo function. So if you make a mistake, you can always go back to your search and replace screen and simply press undo last replace and you will get back to the previous token. You can see it right there. Please support the development of this application with a five star review in the Play Store. And please subscribe and like this video if you found it useful. Thank you.